I apologize to a friend. I'm not going to put her name out there. So welcome to Real But Ignorant Confessions. This is a confessional and a testimony to growth. I know this is going to sound very ridiculous, but this is going to touch somebody. I apologize to you for when we was kids. And I apologize to my mama. You know, because as a kid, I'm going to be honest with you. I was on some bullshit sometimes as a kid. <laughs> I ain't even gonna hold you up. I really was. But one thing about it though, I always played the art of balance. So I would really be on my stuff as a kid. When I'm about to run off the plug, I got some other shit that's on my side. It's keeping me in good standing at the grip. My dad has always done very well. And for that, I commend him. He has always been a provider. He has always that man, I don't know how he did it, honey, but he, he was a top-notch hustler. I don't know. It was crazy, but he did it. Because of that, we lived really decent. We did. We had a nice life, but compared to these friends, now, I was going to a private school when I was young. So, compared to these friends, they, we was living nice, but they was living good. My dad... He got us where we needed to be. He moved his family to the burbs, so everybody thinks that's a dream and shit, okay, by the standard. So we out with these people that we would call bougie today. No disrespect, I'm not clowning nobody. I'm just saying. So we go to this restaurant downtown. It was called East Franklin's, downtown Detroit, East Franklin's, okay? It was a restaurant. I feel like you still should exhibit class. You know, you shouldn't be on that bullshit, but me... I was, I was. So I don't know why, don't judge me. I'm being so transparent right now. <sighs> what a way to be vulnerable, right? Because people can flame broil your ass. But listen, for whatever reason, right, when I was a little kid, I used to like those butters in the pack. Oh my God, I like them. I'm getting to the point now. So I told my friend, we sitting at the table with our mamas, and I told her, take that butter and put it in your purse. She's like, huh? I'm like, take that butter and put it in your purse. <laughs> like, what the fuck? Is this a stick up over butter, ma'am? What's going on here? So, <laughs> so her mama was like, what are you doing, honey? Why are you putting that butter in your purse? <laughs> so she gonna say, of course I'm mad, right? Cause she telling on me, of course. Of course I'd be the audacity of me, right? Well, Raquel told me to put it in my purse. Well, that, thanks a lot. And I'm like, damn, mama, damn. Like, I ain't mean to be ignorant out here. I don't mean to embarrass you, ma'am. <laughs> I'm just being me. <laughs> and yeah, so that's my ignorant confessional. And I don't know how funny that was or even embarrassing, but it's true. It's a true tale. It's my tale. And I certainly did tell that young lady to put that butter in her purse because I didn't have one. I still wanted it and I was going to use her purse as mine at that moment. And I was out of order. I was out of order, especially over some punk ass butter. That's the ridiculous part about the whole thing. Butter, you acting a fool over butter. What's really going on? So I was out there making my parents look poor. <laughs> Listen, I had my peoples looking poor because who the fuck is telling somebody to put butter in? That's some poor ass shit. Let's just keep it a butt. That's some poor ass shit, but that's my ghetto confessional and it's a true story and I might have made an ass out of myself, but it's okay. It's my truth.